Okay, calculate the power used across resistor X. Okay, power is the rate of transfer of energy. Okay, so how much energy is used per unit time. In other words, I'm looking for how much joules of energy is used per second across this resistor here. I've got the potential difference, 6 volts. Now that's just another way of saying that 6 joules of energy is transferred per coulomb of charge that goes across it. I've got 2 amps. That's another way of saying that 2 coulombs of charge flow past per second. So if two coulombs of charge flow past per second and each coulomb of charge transfers six joules of energy, I can figure out how much joules of energy is transferred per second simply by multiplying them together. So in this case, I'm using this equation here, power equals current times voltage. So six times two will give me 12 watts of energy. Okay, that is the power here. Okay, so another way to think about it is what I've basically done is I've just done the current times the uh, potential difference, which is the energy per unit charge, and the charge have cancelled out to give me uh, the power. Okay, same question here, except instead of potential difference, I've got the current. But it's okay, I can figure out the potential difference by just using Ohm's law. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get rid of the V here by using V equals IR. So P is going to equal current, but instead of V, I'm just going to write IR. And if I expand that, the I's multiplied together to give me P equals I squared R. And if I do this for this one, I will still get 12 watts. Okay, what about if I'm not given current, instead I'm given the voltage and the resistance. In this case, I can get rid of the current from this equation by using Ohm's law again. It's just I've rearranged it. So if I get rid of this, I'll get P is equal to V over R instead of I times V. And the V is multiplied together to give me power equals voltage squared over resistance. And again, I'll just get 12 volts for this if I do that. Compare the power used by the resistor and the filament bulb. The resistor has a resistance R and the filament bulb has a resistance of 2R. Okay, so which equation should I use to compare power? Now, because they're in series, I know that the current through them will be the same. Okay, so that isn't going to affect their power. However, they have different resistances. So I know those two information. So the best equation to use in this case, I'd say, is this one, even though you could, there is other ways to do it with other equations. So because current is the same, I can say that the power is going to be directly proportional to resistance because I've treated the current as a constant. So if the bulb has twice the resistance, it will have twice the power. So the bulb is going to be twice the power, use the twice the power of the same question there, except now they're in parallel. If they're in parallel, they have the same voltage, V. Okay, I also know their resistances, so the best equation to use in this case is going to be the one with both resistance and voltage. Power is therefore inversely proportional to the resistance because the voltage is a constant, is the same for both. Okay, so if the filament bulb has twice the resistance, it should have half the uh, power. Which circuit does a bulb glow the brightest? Justify your answer with calculations. The cells are identical and internal resistance negligible. By brightest, they basically mean which uh, bulb has the bit most power, which one's emitting the most energy per unit time. Okay, so what, because the cells are identical, I can say the voltage across is the same. And that means that using ratios, we'll get V over 3 across this one and 2V over 3 across this one. Okay, and these will have the same voltage across them. So power across this one will equal V squared over R. I'll have to use that equation. The voltage across this is 2V over 3. Square that over the resistance, which is 2R. If I expand that bracket, I get 4V squared over 9 divided by 2R. 4 divided by 2 gives me 2V squared. And then I get a 9R at the bottom, which is roughly 0.22 V squared over R. Okay, in this case, the, uh, across the bulb here, we get P is equal to V, v squared and divided by 2R. Okay, so now that is just basically uh, 0.5 V squared over R. So we can see that in this case, the bulb in the parallel circuit is going to glow brightest. Yeah, in fact, the cell here will, in general, provide more power and run up more quickly in this scenario. Okay, which bulb glows the brightest? Just for your answer the calculations. So we're looking for the one with the most power across it. So in this case, 
um, I could use potential difference and use ratios, but I'm going to use current through each branch instead. So the current to the top branch is going to be 12 volts divided by 40 ohm resistance. That's the total resistance there. That gives me 0 0.3 amps flowing through the top branch there. 0 0.3 amps. Okay, through the bottom branch, 12 divided by 25, that gives me 0 0.48 amps. So there's more current flowing through the bottom branch here. 0 0.48 amps. Okay, now because the branches, if so in this case, between the 10 and the 30, they have the same current. And if I look at this equation here, uh, the power is proportional to resistance for the same current. So the 30 ohm resistor will get more of the, use more of the power in this case compared to the 10 ohm resistor. So if I work out the power for that one, power equals the uh, current squared, so 0 0.3 squared times the resistance 30 that gives me 2.7 watts and if I if for the bottom branch I know that this one has a higher resistance so I'll get more of the power for the same um, current so power equals 0 0.48 squared times 20 that gives me a total of 4.6 watts so in this case the bulb that's going to be the brightest is the 20 ohm one.